Hey guys, it's me, Jean, and I know I haven't made a video in a long, long, long time, but now I'm going to make a video. And today is going to be a makeup take. I know I was planning on doing one, like, on a couple of my first videos, but I never really got around to it, so now I'm going to. I have all the questions on my phone, so that's what, so yeah, let's get started. So the first question is, how old were you when you started makeup? Um, I think I was in like grade 7, grade 8, so that's like 13, 14, no, 12, 13, 14, I don't know. Somewhere around that age, that's when I started wearing makeup, um, I only wore mascara because I didn't, because that was really all I really needed, and yeah. The next one is, how did you get into makeup? I got into makeup because I started kind of liking how all the different looks and things that you get with makeup and all the different colors and how it really helped you like cover up any things on your face that you didn't like. I know that sounds really weird but it's true. Um, yeah. So the next question is, what are some of your favorite brands? Now for me, I don't really use a lot of the higher end makeup, I use a lot of drugstore. And my favorite brands are CoverGirl. I really like CoverGirl. Most of my makeup is actually CoverGirl. Um, CoverGirl. I also like e.l.f. makeup because it's cheap and affordable and it works wonders for me. <laughs> and I think like Maybelline and kind of like a lot of the drugstore brands I really like because they work on my skin. So if they if the drugstore stuff works on my skin and it help, it stays on throughout the day, then I'm going to keep using it. I'm not going to spend, like, a lot of money on a higher-end product just because I want the higher-end product. Okay, next question is, if you could only have four products, what would it be? Um, I think the four products that I would want would be mascara because... You can't really tell now because I'm not using like the best camera. I'm just using my laptop. But um, I think it would be definitely be mascara because when you're close up to me and I don't have any mascara, mascara for me, I find that my eyes just look really dull and boring. But when I put mascara on and my lashes are nicely curled, you get to see kind of the, um, you, my eyes really like open up and yeah. Then the next thing I think would be concealer because you can come up because especially because my skin's clearing up a lot now, I can just use concealer and I don't need to worry about foundation. So I think it would be then concealer. Um, a blush probably just kind of give some color. It's also, if you get a cream blush and you can use it like as your um, your blush on your lips. Um, if you really wanted to, I guess you could use it on your eyes. But yeah, and. I don't really know what my fourth product would be. Maybe then foundation would be my fourth product. I don't know. Okay, next question. What does makeup mean to you? This is hard. I tried to think of answers like before, but I came up with mo I came up with most of them, but now it's kind of hard. What does makeup mean to me? Makeup means to me that you are able to ex accentuate your favorite parts of your face and also it kind of makes you feel more conf confident like even though you should feel confident already makeup can sometimes make you feel more confident because it can cover up all your acne so from far away it looks like you are like super clear and no one notices anything and I think that's most of it is that you can accentuate parts of your um Parts of your face that you really like, like my eyes, I really like my eyes, so I like putting liners and shadows and trying different mascaras to really try and like open up my eye. Next question, what is your favorite thing about makeup? Favorite things about makeup is probably that you are able to cover up acne. Because I know when I was younger, I got acne all here and like on my forehead and stuff. Like the, I'm kind of glad I have bangs. <laughs> No, um, but I think my favorite thing is about makeup is that you can use one product for like a whole bunch of different things. 
like for an eyeliner, you can use it on your eyes, but you can also use it like an eyebrow filler. I know some people do that. Um, also with like the cream blush, like I said, you can use it as also a lip color. And they're making a lot of makeup products. Like you can use it for two different things. So I think that's kind of cool. What is, what do you, th what do you think about drugstore versus high-end makeup? I kind of already told you this, that I use a lot of, um, <coughs> excuse me, um, I said, like, I use a lot of drugstore makeup, so I do have some higher-end makeup, but, like, you can't tell a difference, obviously, but if, it, if the drugstore makeup works for you, then I would suggest staying with it rather than if you need that, like, if you need the better quality makeup, then go for the higher end. But I think drugstore is just as well if it works for you. And a tip to a beginner. Um, I would suggest to a beginner that don't be afraid to try new things. Just like, if you're not sure if you'd like foundation, just buy then and buy a foundation and then use it when you want to and if you don't like it and you can always like give it to a friend or something and just try um try different things like don't be afraid if one day you want to try out a look and it has like you are winging out your eyeliner don't be afraid of what people are going to think like if you like it then you like it and it doesn't matter what anyone else thinks it's just what you think and yeah, I think that's really it. Just don't be afraid to try anything. Name a makeup trend that you never understood. Um, I think a makeup trend I don't, not that I don't understand, but what I don't really personally, well, there's kind of two. One that I don't really like and another is that I don't really get. The first one is what I don't really like is when people, they put their eyeliner on. I really like it when people put like the one little line of eyeliner and then they wing it out. But the people who put like that much eyeliner on their eyelid and it comes out just as like black eyeshadow pretty much that you're wearing and then they go like bigger and I think it suits some people but other people it's like you're wearing way too much of it. Like just put on like one little line and maybe use like darker and like create like a smoky eye but don't put eyeliner as your eyeshadow. Like, personally, I just think that looks horrible. So that's what I don't really like. The next, the next question is, a trend that you don't understand, is the feather, <sighs> feather fake eyelashes. I think they look really pretty, but, like, who wants to be walking around wearing a feather on their I, like I know I got I had a feather extension and I really like that and it's like it's in your hair but your eyes like wouldn't it get caught in like your hair or something like <laughs> seriously that's what I think okay what do you think the last question I'm actually going through this really fast pretty good the last question is what do you think about the community the beauty community on YouTube I think they're really helpful like a lot of the girls that I really like are um, Megan Hart's makeup Megan Hart's makeup I have them having a blind make I think you guys know what I mean her um, glitter forever 17 or Breland and also Mac Barbie I really like those three I watch them a lot because they're all like besides Breland um, Megan and what's her name? It will come to me eventually, but I'm just having my mind. But Mac Barbie, um, I really they're like my age, so they kind of have like the same type of skin, and they a lot of the products that they request, I try, and I'm like, oh, you were so right, like I love this, and yeah, that I really like how they say everything true to their word and so it's like you can actually oh my phone's ringing oh well um that you can actually like follow them and get what they're saying rather than some girls are just like they put their steps in really fast and then they're done so yeah i hope this helps if you have a makeup tag on your channel or you made one please put it as a video response or like 
tell me in the comments below that you do and like I'll check out your um I'll check out your thing so yeah um don't forget to subscribe to my channel and comment and do all that fun stuff and I hope to make more videos soon and also comment on any videos that you want me to do because I'm like really open to doing anything so yeah bye